Okay, here we go again. Another modification done to the GPX 3000. Just sitting over here. There it is. What we're going to do this time is that uh, I show how sensitive this detector is with another modification. And I don't know if you can see that um, piece of cotton there. On the end of the piece of cotton is a small piece of lead solder. And I weighed it on my uh, digital scales and it wouldn't even register 0.1 of a gram. So it's well under 0.1 of a gram I would say. Let's spin it there. That's it. A tiny little bit there. Okay. Now we'll put the um, phone cam onto the headphones. And get the ruler out here. You can see that that's the, that's the phone cam going near the coil doing that. But uh, from about here, it's 15 centimetres in height. Okay, I'll grab hold of the cotton and I'll swing it. Now, you should be able to hear that quite plainly. Also, the background noise from the detector is very, very stable. Have a good listen to it. Give this another swing. I can hear that as clear as day. Well, I'll pause this. I'll put the detector back to standard and we'll give it another go and we'll see how uh, how it works. Okay. Now, have a listen to the detector. It's in standard mode. Can you hear all that interference? It's, it's, um, you know, like a couple of hundred percent more than beforehand. Anyway, that's how quiet we can make the detector. There's our target. Sitting there at 15 centimetres. Okay, there's a crossover coil down there. Now I'll grab the, this thing and I'll swing it. Can you hear it? I can't. There's a lot of interference, a lot of noise. If I stop swinging it, you'll probably hear the same noise. Okay, put this back again. I'll swing it back and forth. I can't hear anything over the noise. Back and forth. Stop swinging it. Same amount of noise there. I think that's uh, proof that uh, you can get these uh, 3000 series detectors um, as sensitive as, probably um, even more sensitive than the 4000, because um, that, that little piece of uh, solder uh, sitting there it's definitely under um, 0.1 of a gram. And you remember too that we're using a crossover coil which has only got uh, half the field intensity um, because of the um, um, other half of the coil being out of phase. So half the energy is um, getting dissipated in one field. The other half is actually um, uh, going into our target. Yeah. I know which detector I'd rather have, or how I'd have it, should I say. So, anyway, I'll stick this up on um, on the internet so you can have a look for yourselves. Anyway, I'll turn this off.